yeah, we will be uh, demonstrating, but there are some uh, forms of e-content and if we want to have high definition audios and videos, uh, which need to be uploaded on uh, and disseminated through uh, portals, uh, apart from being disseminated from the portal, they also need to be telecasted through PM uh, eVidya initiative under which NCRT already has uh, uh, 12 session, one session for each class. And all the states and UTs, uh, very soon they will also be getting uh, channels uh, as per uh, the demand raised by them. So for uh, telecast, uh, we need high definition um, uh, videos and to broadcast through radio, we need high definition um, audios. So for that, some expert uh, um, uh, uh, intervention is required. We need to have high definition uh, cameras. We need to have uh, studios. We need to have other infrastructure. Uh, but uh, the role of teachers and educators doesn't get uh, minimized if we um, are uh, planning to develop high definition audios and videos. So without a sound script, uh, and wherever storyboarding is required, storyboarding, we cannot develop quality e-content to be disseminated through uh, television and to be broadcasted uh, through uh, radios. So we, are, are, uh, we have to develop uh, digital content for various purposes and uh, for multi-mode delivery also. We have apps and portals, we have uh, DTH channels, we have uh, FM radios, so all these uh, uh, in infrastructural possibilities are there for the dissemination of digital content. So in this session, we will be focusing on uh, such high definition content for which script and storyboarding is a must. So when we started these 12 channel, we uh, approach to all uh, more teachers in this country uh, locating at different regions and we engage them in uh, script writing and storyboarding because without their support, without the support of teachers, it is not possible to develop high quality script and high quality audio video uh, videos will also depend upon high quality uh, scripts because teachers are the ones who uh, work at the grassroots level. So without their active uh, engagement, good scripts cannot be developed. But we need to know how to write a, a sound a script, good script, so that the output that we uh, are envisaging uh, to have uh, should be the same as uh, we have visualized it. So when we uh, um, plan uh, to have uh, some program, when we have an idea in mind, so we also have uh, the idea of output. What output will come or emerge out of this idea? So until and unless idea is elaborated properly in the form of program briefs, in the form of a script, in the form of storyboarding, uh, it is not possible to develop a high quality um, audio video program. So in this session, we will be focusing upon, that is why in this session, we will be focusing upon script writing and storyboarding. And, uh, and what is the whole process in terms of uh, designing instruction for a particular uh, script based on an educational uh, concept. So uh, we need to have certain pedagogical considerations in our mind. So we need uh, uh, to know the learning theories. We all know because you all are uh, have done your uh, teachers training, uh, you all uh, might be uh, be ed or have undergone some teacher training programs and you might have uh, come across the learning theories. What are the different learning theories and how children learn? 
then learning objectives uh, or learning outcomes we also know the learning objectives when we plan lesson so lesson is planned around some objectives or some uh, learning outcomes until and unless we know those learning outcomes it is not uh, uh, possible uh, to uh, actually come up with a well uh, uh, crafted program so otherwise we can uh, just go here and there hey why and cannot uh, come up with a well structured uh, audio or video program then we also need to understand the individual differences we all know that um, uh, there are uh, different learner heterogeneous learner in our class as far as their learning styles are concerned some learners uh, understand better by watching a program by visualizing some understand by listening some uh, understand by doing and some understand um, uh, some are uh, understand better by involving more than one uh, senses so if they get multi sensory exposure then they learn better so uh, to all these learner we call visual learner auditory learner kinesthetic learner uh, and uh, uh, learners who learn with uh, multi sensory approach so uh, uh, and, and apart from that in indian classroom we have uh, multifarious diversities so uh, as far as uh, digital uh, uh infrastructure is concerned there is a diversity and also there is linguistic diversity uh geographical diversity and diversity which is uh, manifested in many more uh, ways so we all understand that so uh, and there is a diversity as far as uh, ethnic groups are concerned so we have different caste class religion groups linguistic groups uh, and geographical locations uh, across india so diversity is multifarious so now uh, so, and we need to understand that before um, coming up with an idea or before coming up with a, a script for that matter then a developmental uh, development process what is the development process of um, uh, script development as far as script development is concerned so steps in script development and production uh, first is know your audience we must know our audience whether the script is being written for foundational learners whether it is for middle level learner whether it it is for a uh, secondary or senior secondary learner or uh, it is for uh, teachers so we also develop programs for teachers and then uh, depending upon the audience who are our audience we select the theme or a topic then we develop program briefs so program briefs are something which just set the boundary of boundaries of a particular uh, topic if we have a topic in hand so a the length and breadth of the topic cannot be uh, limited to half an hour or 15 minutes sometimes so we need to see what will be the boundaries of this particular uh program we just cannot go on and on uh depending upon whatever is written in the chapter of the textbooks we have to see where are the gaps before identifying the topic and accordingly we have to develop <coughs> sorry program briefs after the development of program briefs we have to research on the topic sequence the uh, content uh how uh, the, the topics uh, will be breaked into smaller subtopics and how these subtopics will be sequenced in a program as per the objectives or learning outcomes also then we need to select the presentation format there are lots of presentation formats as far as audio and video programs are concerned 
you will be having a separate session on presentation formats of audio and video program but uh, to uh, uh, just uh, to get you a basic understanding of it we have panel discussions we have uh, uh, some of the formats you have already seen uh, in the previous session animations are there graphic based animations are there uh, some are lecture based content also video lectures uh, based, video lecture based content panel discussions uh, song riddles and so on and so forth so there are different formats sometimes we uh, or, uh, try to uh, organize a topic around a song like you have watched uh, in uh, the morning session uh, discovery of fire. So there was a song based on this concept and the concept was woven around that song. So song or recitation is another presentation format. Then devices of holding children's attention. So song, riddle, music, sound effects, fun, humor, pause and uh, rest. So uh, the content should not be very uh, boring or danced wherever possible as per the needs of the learner at, as per the level of the learners we need to integrate all these <clears throat> uh, to uh, hold students attention then interactivity should be there it, it, it the interactivity can be in terms of language also how we uh, address our audience are we just narrating a concept or we are uh, talking to our audience and also posing some questions at the end of it so that uh, after watching the program, children are engaged with the ideas and they explore further. Then involve children. There should be a provision of involving uh, children also. So a script writer should give clues uh, how to involve children after watching the uh, program. If you are using the program as a pedagogical resource, maybe uh, post lesson you can involve children to reflect upon certain questions. <clears throat> then elements of a good script. So what are the elements of a good script? It should have an attractive start. Then a clarity of concept should be there in the script. Uh, content should be objective based. We uh, must proceed from uh, known to unknown. Then it should be interactive. The language should be simple. Transition from one idea uh, to another idea should be smooth. Then a component of humor and fun also need to be added wherever possible. Then reinforcement with variety and linkages. We need to reinforce wherever reinforcement uh, required, wherever uh, we can do it. Then smooth close down. The closure of the uh, script or program based on the script should also be smooth. It should not be ended abruptly. So for a smooth uh, closure, if it is a series, we can sum up uh, the uh, ideas discussed in uh, that program and also uh, say that uh, in the next episode, you will watch the uh, following so that uh, we uh, sustain students' attention. They feel uh, uh, an urge to watch the next episode. And if it's a standalone program, we should recap whatever we discussed uh, in the program and then uh, close it uh, down. Because uh, we are not uh, dealing with fictional ideas, we are dealing with educational concepts. So educational program uh, production is a very, very uh, big challenge because when we are uh, dealing with any fictional content, we have uh, a lot of freedom to play with the idea. We can. Uh, uh, add fantasy, we can add uh, imagination, but when we are dealing with educational content, it is very, very difficult to, to uh, sustain interest and also uh, 
keep the learners engaged with the content. So we have to uh, look at it, craft our scripts very, very uh, carefully and uh, adding all the elements of um, like fun, humor, riddle, music, sound effects to sustain uh, students' uh, interest. But there should not be a over uh, doing of anything uh, <clears throat> which we uh, do. So it, there should be a balance. Then a development of a storyboard. So why a storyboard is required? Uh, so a storyboard is a graphic representation of how your video will unfold. So short by short description of uh, your program, mm, be it a audio, be it a video is given. So a template like that can be created, boxes like that can be created. And here you can see a uh, title of the program, then scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five. And uh, the camera angles also can be written uh, whenever you are developing a story report or can be depicted there. So which uh, type of shot you want, you, whether you want a close up, whether you want a long shot, whether you want the camera to pan to grab a landscape. So uh, the things like that can be written, uh, written and uh, sketched in the script uh, storyboard. So uh, 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 I will show you, I will demonstrate you uh, several uh, scripts also and storyboards also. If uh, you cannot sketch, you can just sketch through words also. So uh, there can be a story, a script comes storyboard also where scene by scene description is given so that there is no need to draw and storyboard also. But when we are developing uh, some animation. So it is not necessary that you have to have a very good drawing skills. You can sketch a crude a picture, the graphic designer or, or the producer will, will understand and uh, make the uh, requirement of the scene as per uh, the reference you have given in your storyboard. So storyboard is like a sort of comic book uh, version of your script. So uh, you have already seen one comic strip. If we are going to develop a video program based on that comic strip, so that can be treated as a storyboard. So it's like that. Then a need of a storyboard, best way to share the vision of the script writer makes production easier. So it gets easier for the producer because then he understand uh, where uh, to do what. And it saves times also because then uh, post-production research get uh, yeah during the time of um, you know, production mid uh, production research is uh, minimized and it saves time also because a script writer has or storyboard developer has uh, clearly mentioned how what he or she wants and how. So use the sketches method tips. Uh, there are some tips for creating storyboard. Use the sketches it method. Go with the rapid template. Use collaboration tools for the creating script. If you are collaborating with uh, some uh, designers or some other colleagues. Then uh, what you need. You need to have source of moving and still images means of importing them into a PC. If you are using a software like OpenShot Video Editor or Movie Maker, then you need to have source of moving or still images and you need to transport them, import them into your PC. You need to have a software to optimize each clip and string uh, the clips together means of exporting the resulting a master piece. So if it is a professional quality program, then also on the editing table, you need to have all these. But if you are creating it through a software, uh, open, uh, open source software, then also you need to follow the, these uh, steps. <clears throat> uh, 
So editors uh, do also have their own software to uh, the string the uh, clips and other media to come up with a produced program, finally produced program. Then uh, uh, these are some uh, of the camera shots, wide shots, long shot, mid shot or medium shot. So uh, here the playground uh, you are watching, it's a wide shot because uh, you are seeing it from a wide angle. You can see audiences and you can also see the playground and the placement of players in the uh, playground. Then uh, there are long shots. This is the uh, football shot is a long shot because uh, you can see uh, the uh, action of the uh, players here and it is taken from a distance so that you can, uh, uh, camera can capture their, uh, their, their placement, their emotions, their actions. Then mid shot, so uh, this the uh, picture of this girl, we can call it a mid shot because uh, it is taken from a distance where you can uh, capture the mid shot of the girl and what uh, she is uh, actually uh, doing. She's, uh, she has raised her hand maybe in a classroom to answer a question. Then uh, here you can see uh, close-up shots, medium close-up, close-up, big close-up, and extreme close-up. So uh, the two boys, the picture of these two boys is uh, mid close-up. And uh, the ball uh, depicted here is uh, close-up. Then uh, big close-up, the boy uh, crying over here, is uh, a close-up because it has taken from a very less uh, distance and we can uh, see the facial uh, nuances of facial expression of uh, this child. Then extreme, uh, this is uh, extreme close-up actually, uh, the uh, crying boy. And a medium close-up is uh, the, uh, this uh, lady who is holding a pen in her hand. Close up is uh, this uh, these two boys, and big close up is this uh, ball. Then uh, camera angles uh, continues. Uh, top angles, uh, over the shoulder angle, point of view POV is point of view angle, uh, Dutch angle, and bird's eye uh, view angle. Oh. So uh, when uh, you uh, want to see something from the top, when you take a video lecture also and you want to write something on a paper, so top I angle know, camera what captures what you are writing on the uh, a paper that you have or slate that you have. So uh, this girl shot is over the shoulder uh, angle. Then point of view angle is something where you... Uh, uh, where the audience feels himself into the scene, like this driving car. If we watch this car from this angle, which is moving ahead, and we can see a driver uh, driving it at a very fast speed. So sometimes the audience feel himself or herself inside the uh, the, the, the scene, engaged with the scene, into the scene. So, uh, so that is point of view angle. But, uh, although we are not driving the car, but it uh, feels as if we are uh, into the scene. So sometimes uh, to uh, get a feel of thrill and uh, horror also, this point of view uh, angles are uh, used. Then a Dutch angle. Dutch angle is uh, the angle where camera is a bit tilted to capture the finer emotions of a character. Like you can see uh, in this picture where my cursor is there, which is at the bottom. So camera is tilted. So by the whole body language and facial expression, we can understand the uh, feeling of the uh, character. Then bird's eye view is 
taken from a drone a camera yeah. is uh, put into the drone and drone yeah. is flying uh, um, above and it is capturing a particular landscape so that is a bird's eye view camera angle so here are some do's and uh, don'ts of uh, um, filming so we need to uh, have excess footage so that we can uh, remove the excess later on so we can also take some still shots of useful information so that when the information is required we can just get back to the shots we have captured still shots we have captured and uh, make use of that information uh, then uh, don'ts of uh, filming avoid excessive zooming uh, uh, zooming uh, frame the uh, shot first. So excessive zooming for everything is not required. Zooming can be done whenever there is a need, like that crying boy. We wanted to uh, capture those uh, finer expression of a child face. That is why that's, that zooming was there. But that is not suitable for Holy capturing uh, anything. Each and every thing. So uh, different camera angles are there uh, because of that only. So if you must zoom during a shot, avoid jerkiness. Jab zoom bhi kar rahe, we should not. Uh, we should uh, keep hold of the camera in such a way that uh, jerkiness doesn't come. Then avoid fast panning of static views. If the view is static, so panning is not required. So uh, uh, the objective is to minimize audience uh, nausea. If we very frequently uh, move the camera, pan the camera, uh, uh, take jerky shots, so audience may feel nauseatic instead of being engaged with the content. So these are some of the do's and don'ts of filming that you must understand. It is not essential that you are filming, but you uh, should know how the produce, how you want your producer to uh, capture scenes on the script that you have developed. So uh, here I will be showing you uh, a small film. The title is "The Other Pair." And uh, by uh, watching this film, yeah, watch it carefully. It's a very short film, four minutes and, and a few uh, second duration. Maybe you have watched it, uh, but watch it from the purpose of analyzing it and write in the chat box what you learned from this film. Uh, then we will be going uh, on to watching other, uh, a few uh, programs and the scripts of those uh, programs so that you understand, you connect between a uh, program and the way its script is written, its program briefs are written, storyboard is uh, developed. So let us watch to just to uh, gear you up, let's watch this movie first. Excuse me, madam. Please provide the link in chat box. Just to eat this one. So the ad is coming. Let me skip the ad. Can you hear the sound? No, madam. No, madam. No, madam. No, madam. Let me share it with sound. Yes, Allah. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I think now the now, sound is now audible. Is. Yes, madam. Yes. yes now, madam. now. Please watch it carefully right. and write your reactions in the chat. So uh, you have watched this movie, which is four minutes and a few seconds duration. It's an Oscar award, it's Egyptian movie, which has won uh, Oscar award in the category of short film. So uh, yeah, so chats have started coming. Your reactions in the chat. 
yeah it's very touching movie humility humanity nice video about sacrifice in helping friends he uh, knows the value of shoe slipper maximum of camera angles covered good good comment all the comments are very good good video it's motivational one yes it's right yeah. perspectives are uh, excellently captured very nice it seems you have heard the presentation very carefully and you are using the terminology voice while analyzing this uh, movie good if not me someone can use a thing yes right value of love bahut hriday sparshi video koi bahut achhi hindi likh raha hai aapke group mein uh, m v n balaram nice wo hindi mein likh rahe hain comments nice to see heart touching sharing is caring good message in this video the camera angles were used effectively uh, rohini has written all close up medium shot extreme close up shot are used according to uh, yeah uh, according to the script sequence of the video is also very good yeah sound uh, difference while walking with slippers and without slippers yeah nice poverty to manage can we convey the message without words yes this film shows this video is the very uh, good example of using minimum words but conveying the message in such a powerful manner uh, shashi kumar has written this uh, comment we can convey the message without words uh camera shots are nice uh, showed integrity of the poor boy yes motivational and heart touching it provides lots of values good heart touching got the tears in eyes yes it happens by watching this video different angles were used uh the story and the filming is innovative yes basically good script and nice uh, capturization yes so some uh, of you might be wondering there were very few dialogues so where is the script some people have uh, appreciated the script but yes a script was there or storyboard was there how uh, uh, to use camera angles and uh, what uh, will come uh, one after another the scene by scene description might be given in the script that is why it has come so beautifully but dialogues were less so it is not that at a script only uh, captures or uh, includes dialogues it can includes the uh, depiction of scenes also which is very well depicted in uh, the script on which this uh, small uh, with short video is based then photo angles like extreme close ups uh, are very effective yes jaya has written this the attitude of the kid who uh, worried who wore the shoe is uh, appreciable yes yes so both the kids have empathy so that is the uh, one boy is poor they have uh, extremely different backgrounds but their feelings are uh, same they know uh, sharing and caring uh, both of them know sharing and caring and uh, they understand how it feels when you lose something and uh, how it feels when you possess something good message and covered all types of shots good scripts nice presentation so yes so uh, yeah you all of you have given very valid comments and uh, remarks on the uh, video programs and the uh, best part uniqueness of this uh, video is that there uh, wasn't any uh, dialogues minimum dialogues were used so only two times uh, the father of the boy spoke hurry up the train has come 
and the climax comes when uh, the uh, shoe of the boy is left on the platform so uh, how uh, with sound that moment is captured all the background noises of the platform stopped and only the bell was ringing which was indicating the train to move then gradually the train started a uh, train started moving so uh, it was the climax of uh, the video so it is not necessary that climax come towards end of a video it can come in the middle also wherever there is a need of having a, a climax and this video is the best example of that uh, but uh, such videos with minimum dialogues or with no dialogues are uh, good for uh, capturing uh, uh, value based content or uh, meta cognitive content but for some hard core educational content we need to have uh, dialogues also we need to have narrations also but there to uh, the script should not be very verbose if we can depict anything by uh, visuals by scenes so we must think of um, writing about those visuals and scenes uh, the uh, narration and dialogue should be uh, a minimum if it is not required to say something then don't say something convey it to a, a video or sound effect or some other such uh, device so i showed this video just to make you understand uh, the uh, nuances of uh, a video development and uh, the uh, depiction of uh, story script and uh, storyboarding and how to use camera angles to capture finer emotions and uh, other aspects of the video so let us now watch uh, again and stop motion animation and i will be showing you uh, it, it is developed by ciet developed in ciet and it scripts and storyboard so that you can understand the link i don't have a script of this particular video because it's an egyptian uh, movie but i have a script and storyboard of the videos uh, created here at cit so let us watch first the video So uh, this is uh, another stop motion uh, animation it is about invention of wheel though it is in hindi it's a poetry poetry based animation stop motion animations but english subtitling is there Gol 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 g
गोल 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 लुड़का ढलान पर गोल गोल लुड़का ढलान पर पहुँचा नीचे फैले मैदान पर गोल 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 यह तो खुद भी चल सकता गोल 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 मेरा हो जाए पल में काम मेरा हो जाए मेहनत भी मेरी बच जाए हाँ गोल 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 एक धुरी से दो को बांधा एक धुरी से दो को बांधा धीरे धीरे किया सुधा हाँ यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया गोल 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 पहिया तो यू हैव वॉच्ड दिस स्टॉप मोशन एनिमेशन यू कैन राइट योर कॉमेंट्स इन दी चैट बॉक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू so uh, i will uh, also be showcasing you the script of this video and the storyboard so that you can understand how a sound script and storyboard can lead to uh, um, uh, uh, lead to a well crafted or well imagined video so let me uh, show you uh, in the meanwhile you can see uh, the uh, comments okay केवल रिएक्शन सीन है शायद स्क्रिप्ट आ गया है नहीं ये तो दूसरा है दूसरी स्क्रिप्ट है it visible on this screen hmm. just a moment okay. stop sharing
Is it visible? So uh, this is the uh, script of this stop motion animation. So you can see uh, uh, you uh, can create two or three columns. And one first column, you can uh, write uh, the sequence one, two, three uh, of the uh, visuals that you want or narration that you want. Uh, and uh, in one column, whatever audio is there, like uh, sound, music, sound effects, or uh, narration can come. And the another column, visuals related to that uh, particular sound, awesome. narration, music. Uh, can come what visual you want with a particular music with a particular narration or with a particular audio so here the uh, in the opening screen in the opening shot uh, there was a background music which was symbolic to speed so music was also very thoughtfully uh, selected and what was the visual on the screen with the notes of music floating out of a flute comes the title invention of wheel. So was it exactly on the screen? So there was a flute and notes of music were floating out of it and comes the title, then comes the title invention of wheel. Then close up of uh, the wheel of an aeroplane, then aeroplane flying, it was a mid shot. Uh, it was the, the, uh, clo the wheel was a close up uh, shot, then aeroplane flying was a mid shot. Close up of the uh, uh, tire of a car, car running on road, a child running on a skate, a man riding a bike, round sun rising in the sky, rotating earth, round words rolling in a cyclical manner. Then uh, comes the lyrics. Once a human on a downhill saw a rolling log. And what visuals comes uh, along with these lines, these uh, narration or these lyrics, prehistoric environment, a log rolling on a downhill and a prehistoric man watching it with curiosity. So that was the visual. Then sound comes roll, roll, roll and various round shapes occur where uh, the idea uh, of a wheel can come from, or uh, the, the, the shapes like uh, wheels occur, come on the scene. Then uh, the uh, lyrics come rolled, rolled and tumbled down, uh, rolled, rolled and tumbled down, reached over a wide stretch meadow. So then again, prehistoric environment, a log comes rolling from a, from a downhill and reaches a field, it rolls again, hits a tree and rolls further. Its speed slows down after hitting the tree and it stops. So like that, each and every uh, the nuances of the visuals that we want are written along with the lyrics in this script. I will share this script with you. And on the page which we have, uh, the CIT's page, SRG page, uh, we will put our, all these uh, resources along with the presentation. So you can study uh, the script in details there. I'm just uh, putting here some examples, not reading uh, out the whole entire script. So let us now see the uh, 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 storyboard of this video. Although storyboard is not required here, but uh, the uh, Animations have been developed by a professional animator and he decided to come up with a storyboard also so that he can get the visuals approved uh, from me, the, how the visuals will uh, uh, be shown. So if you are developing it yourself, then there is no requirement of any storyboard. If we have uh, written, if we have in mind what exactly we want uh, on screen. So let us now see the story code of this particular program. Madam, can you share the scripts? Yes. 
डिस्क्रिप्शन इज देर in the opening scene you have seen that flute and the notes of music coming out of it then close up of a uh, um, uh, aeroplane wheel then aeroplane after that car wheel of a car then a uh, uh, driving car a uh, car driving on the moving on the road then a uh, biker riding a bike then a uh, charkha spinning wheel because it has a round shape then uh, the uh, 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 human early human prehistoric human watching a log rolling down of from a downhill so the close up of his eyes because he uh, is astonished to see it so it's extreme close up here only you can see only the eyes of that human and the eyes are rolling because he is Uh, astonished his uh, thinking also so uh, it, it, the uh, idea comes into his mind so there are no evidences of any such uh, happenings because uh, the uh, prehistoric period we call prehistory uh, history to a period where written evidences are not there and about all the early uh, discoveries and invention we can only speculate it might have happened this way though no evidence such evidences are uh, there uh, in historical uh, text that it happened this way only so uh, then all these uh, visuals comes you can see uh, here the a kumis ho gaya shayad there were three yeah so uh these are some of the other scenes which came in the uh video page 2 and then you already watched yeah page 3 this is the uh end visual so uh once we uh, create a program come up with a script and storyboarding so we also add uh, some other we discuss it uh, in my end slide you will uh, understand that entire process so in this video then suggestion came that uh, rolling a wheel on road is a, a popular uh, game or uh, play which uh, children in rural and urban area are used to play so that also come in the visual so the the, the use of uh, wheel as a, or a tire as a play article so the video though it is not in the storyboard but the end scene was a uh, uh, boy comes rolling a tire with the help of a stick on the screen so it was added later on after discussing uh, it with the group with the team with the large, larger group so uh, i think uh, it is clear how a uh, storyboard a script and a produced program a finished program uh, are linked together i hope uh, i am clear enough to uh, showcase that so let me show you one another form of a script <clears throat> Mm, which is uh, the script of a um, video lecture because under pm e vidya if you will getting be getting some channel for higher classes uh, you might be uh, having the need of developing a lot of uh, uh, video lectures also so how a, a script of a video lecture should be like
Mm -hmm. So, uh, is it visible? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, ma yes. so, this is the script of a video lecture. Here you can see uh, the title of the uh, video lecture, Understanding the Theme Travel, which is uh, the theme of EVS and pedagogical approaches to transit the theme. This video lecture is for teachers to understand the theme, uh, travel and what pedagogical approaches need to be adopted for uh, teaching this theme in an EVS class, primary EVS class. So here are two columns, you can see two columns, audio, the narration and uh, the uh, visuals which will come here. So hello viewers, it starts from hello viewers because a presenter is presenting, the format is like that. Today we will learn about the significance of theme travel in elementary EVS curriculum. And what will come on the um, screen? Presenter will come on the screen because he is greeting the audience and uh, putting forth the introductory part of the uh, lecture. So a video lecture uh, need to be supported with a lot of visuals. It is not uh, required that every time presenter should be on a screen because it will get boring if the presenter is on a screen and narrating everything. So the narration should be, uh, the, uh, even though narration is there, it should be supported with visuals. So here you can see, these bullet points have been written under audio also and under visual also, because they will come as voiceover. The uh, presenter will speak, but these bullet point will come on the screen. The same bullet point will come on the uh, screen. So after that, a lot of other, it is supported by a lot of other uh, visuals. So there uh, is a mind map which will be shown then sometimes in between presenter is also coming. And uh, the uh, visuals are also shown. So like that, uh, the script of a video lecture should be uh, written. So we need to uh, write categorically clearly where presenter will come so that the producer who is recording the uh, video uh, may know that from what angle now uh, they uh, need to take the uh, presenter from and where uh, the uh, captions or some visuals will come. So uh, now I will be showing you an interactive content because when we are creating interactive content, in my previous presentation, I will uh, shown you some interactive content developed from H5P software. I will again be showing one single uh, or two H5P content and uh, script and storyboard for interactive content because H5P is also required because software, uh, uh, the person who knows the software may not be a person or who knows the subject. So we cannot expect uh, from the uh, software uh, person to create uh, the uh, interactive content in a manner as imagined or visualized by her, as envisaged by us. So for that also, we need to have a script and storyboarding so that the software developer and graphic designer. So it's also a teamwork. So we need to have a uh, 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 graphic designer if we want some fine graphics to be added with h5p content so let me show you a interactive content match animals and birds with their footprints. Animals and birds with their footprints.
आपकी फूड क्लासिफिकेशन मिली I will show you one more. Observe the fruits. Can we put them in four bar? Them in four bar. Observe the fruits. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups. Observe the fruits. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups. So uh, this was an uh, uh, interactive content, gamified content based on the concept of classification on the basis of uh, colors. So you uh, uh, already understood the concept. Let me show you the script of this particular uh, interactive content so that you understand how to develop a script and hand over to the software uh, person who knows uh, the H5P software. But if you are developing it on your own, then also for your reference, you need to have a script. So, uh, is it seen? Uh, can you see the script? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, the name of the topic is classification. Then we uh, have written the description. 
fruits of different colors are displayed on the screen. Ma'am, uh, sorry, ma'am, script is not visible. No, it's just the it. window is. Ma'am, script is not visible. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just Somebody, yeah. I think, mistakenly told me. Script is not visible. Hold for a moment. I will share it again. Well, now it's visible. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's another <laughs> script. It's another script, not the one I wanted to show them. No, no. Ah, just hold on. No. Just hold on. Huh? Huh. So now it is visible. Uh, uh, classification. Uh, the description is fruits of different colors are displayed on the screen. Child has to classify the fruits on the basis of color or shape. But uh, in the script, it was color. Then language is English as well as Hindi. They, they are made uh, in both the languages. Then subject is math, label class one. Different stakeholders of education are the audience. The educational use is to develop the understanding of classification on the basis of color. So it is an interactive content because child can interact with the content. He can drag, uh, drop, and get feedback. And then this is the uh, storyboard. So it is uh, developed by a graphic designer, but a teacher can also uh, 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 create a crude uh, sketch of uh, the concept, then graphic designer can uh, create the concept. Please mute yourself, mute yourself. There are a lot of background no noises coming. Then instruction uh, for user, because it's a class one child, so it is not, uh, it will not be a good experience to give the description how to play the game in the text. But if an audio comes, then the experience of uh, gamification uh, that uh, increases because they don't have to read the entire uh, instructions. So the audio uh, instructions were there. So observe the fruit. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of that? Please mute yourself. Uh, Monica, mute kar do logo ko. <laughs> then uh, the audio instruction comes. Let's try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to find uh, to form the four groups. Then we also need to, if the uh, H5P uh, person is somebody else, then we need to write instructions for the developer also. Then only he can uh, develop the interactive content the way you visualized it. So it, if the uh, user drags fruit of one color in one basket, then fruit of another color can be placed, cannot be played, placed on the same basket. It will bounce back. So uh, the coding will be done accordingly by the uh, software uh, person and uh, you will get the same output as you have seen in the, uh, the, in, in, in the content, interactive content uh, developed from H5P in the classification. So uh, that was it. So I will uh, show you an example of uh, uh, content brief also, because content brief is something which uh, sets the boundary of the, uh, uh, the, the uh, concept in hand. So uh, what will be the boundary of the uh, concept in hand? Uh, how we, you will delimit it, uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, concept which you are going to address in a particular uh, audio or video. So this uh, is based on uh, an audio program. The audio program is in Hindi, but I will uh, tell you the gist of it. It is about maps, how maps are useful. Again, it's a lyric in Hindi. Nakshe hume ghumate hain. Maps help us roam around the world. So uh, that is depicted there. Uh, which rivers fall, falls from which mountain and uh, disappear into which uh, ocean. Uh, so it is uh, said there in the uh, audio. 
and where uh, there are large stretches of uh, uh, of uh, these uh, large stretches of uh, sand sand so that is also uh, depicted in the video with appropriate sound effect where the wars were fought who won what samudragupta won what kuru won what and on which land so the importance of map uh, it it gives us a sense of time and space what time and in what space some event has taken place and some geographical uh, features are there so map are good enough to tell us all these aspects so let me uh, show you the uh, content brief first and then uh, we will uh, listen to the audio with appropriate sound effects so uh, it is visible on the screen title of the uh, program nakshe me sansar world inside a map subtitle there is no subtitle it is not a series stand alone program themes mapping my neighborhood how to map my neighborhood contact with distant uh, lands uh, essential components of map distance directions and symbol where when and how where uh, what happened where when it happened and how it happened so it is the uh, theme of this program subject is geography and history language hindi duration 4 to 5 minutes approximately classes primary and upper primary then target audience students and teachers and these are the different presentation formats given here and a rhyme or singing is the uh, presentation format here and also recitation so it has been developed two ways in the form of a uh, song and in the form of recitation then objectives explain how maps reflect the world we live in recognize the uses of map in geography and history trigger special thinking to understand uses of map comprehend the phenomena related to time and space content coverage so what is the content coverage the script covers the idea of uses of map in geography and history to understand the world in time and space so recitation is in male voice is written here uh, with appropriate expressions and sound effects so when we are writing an audio program it is written for the ears not for the eyes so with appropriate uh, uh, sound we can create a particular ambience which you will see or listen to in this uh, audio program so let me take on to the audio programs it will be the last one after that we will be um, watching uh, quickly the fln portal which we have uh, created uh, fln vertical on diksha so that you can also create a similar vertical there and uh, uh, top it up with uh, a lot of uh, digital contents uh, based on foundational literacy and numeracy मानचित्र में दुनिया नो वीडियो दिस इज एन ऑडियो दिस इज एन ऑडियो प्रोग्राम सो डोंट वरी यू हैव टू लिसन टू द ऑडियो ऑडियो आ रहा है बट लेट लेट मी जस्ट प्रोजेक्ट दी स्क्रीन आल्सो नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं पहाड़ पठार मैदान समुद्र और खाड़ी तक ले जाते हैं 
जग की सैर कराते हैं जग की सैर कराते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं किस पर्वत से नदी निकलकर किस सागर से मिलती है रेगिस्तानी रेत कहां पर मृग तृष्णा से चलती है कहा पड़ती है शीत बड़ी और कहा घनेरे जंगल हैं कहा समुद्र है शांत संत सा कहा पे लहरें चंचल हैं कहा चलती हैं गर्म हवाएं कहा पे पल पल रिमझिम है कहा वो सपनीले टापू हैं कहा पे गहरी झीले हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं पुरु चला था किस धरती पर समुद्रगुप्त ने क्या जीता था कहा क्रांतियां हुई विश्व में कहा वीरों का खून गिरा था कहा वीरों का खून गिरा था नक्शे ही दिखलाते हैं घर बैठे ही कहां कहां की बातें हमें बताते हैं क्या क्या नहीं सिखाते हैं क्या क्या नहीं सिखाते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं नक्शे हमें घुमाते हैं तो दिस आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू कुड अंडरस्टैंड दी व्हाट वाज देयर इन दिस ऑडियो सो इट सेस मैप्स हेल्प अस रोम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दे ओनली शो अस वेयर देयर आर लार्ज स्ट्रेचेस ऑफ deserts snow clad mountains hills uh, uh, and uh, other uh, landforms it, it uh, maps tell us uh, about the landforms also geography also and they also tell us history where on uh, earth uh, different uh, the popular revolts uh, took place uh, revolutions took place and where uh, there were warfares happened popular warfare happened so all uh that has been uh said in this recitation with proper appropriate sound effects and music so uh that is how uh uh a uh, audio program uh, uh, should be there in the audio part you have to uh, write the appropriate sound effects that you want for a particular uh, audio programs to create or to build the ambience so that was it so this was the last uh, um, resource i wanted to share to uh, make you understand uh, the concept of scripting storyboarding uh, and uh, the uh, uh, program briefs the script for e content and other uh, allied concepts so uh, so uh if uh, we uh, have planned to create a resource 
So this is the entire uh, process, the design for uh, that. So the step one is come up with an idea and write a proposal. Step two, research, explore, and learn more about the concept. Then step three is write the script. Like I wanted to create a stop motion animation on invention of wheel. So that idea was there. So a lot of research uh, has been done uh, on uh, the what kind of visuals will be there. Then a script was written, then storyboard was planned. After that, uh, the uh, graphics were created uh, based on the uh, script and storyboard. Then uh, to put it all together, uh, more uh, than uh, a, a lot of thousands of shots were clicked. Then uh, step seven is uh, we uh, shared this uh, uh, video with the team and based on the uh, suggestions, it was uh, again modified. And then uh, so that uh, feedback and reflection can be taken on the uh, script, modify it, and then popularize it, share it with popular um, you know, portals and uh, channels. So that is the entire process of uh, uh, creating a digital story. So uh, I would uh, stop my presentation here and uh, I would just take you through uh, the uh, take you through uh, the uh, FLN vertical on Diksha so that uh, you can understand the structure of it and uh, we can also have such uh, vertical on the state tenant, state and UT tenants of Diksha. So Dr. Prachi is sharing her screen. <clears throat> yeah, it is visible. Let us... Uh... So uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, Nippon Bharat page on foundational literacy and numeracy. So just scroll the page uh, down. Uh, this is the home page. And if we uh, click on to explore, explore, then we will uh, land on to the uh, particular page of Nippon Bharat mission and FLN uh, resources there. So you can see all the documents over here, Nippon Bharat document, Nippon mission videos, then regional workshops, which uh, were organized by the ministry and the resources uh, shared by all these states and UTs. Uh, so uh, you are also from different states and UTs. So you can explore what uh, has happened, what plan is uh, already going on, which is in the pipeline. And you have to contribute towards that uh, goal. So in these presentations, your state presentation will be there. You can uh, just see what is happening in your states and how you have to take forward this mission. Then uh, uh, if I scroll, scroll uh, down further, uh, the about foundational literacy and numeracy is there. And then there is a possibility of exploring developmental goal voice uh, e-contents uh, on the Iksha. So you can wow. see here preschool one, preschool two, preschool three, class one, class two, and class three. And the developmental goals, if we scroll a bit, developmental goals of uh, foundational literacy and numeracy, where goal one is children maintain good health and well-being. Goal two is children become effective communicators. Goal three is children become involved learners and connect with their immediate surroundings. And if we scroll a little further, so we will get uh, the, this so that you can also, if you click on to explore, you can also uh, land onto the page where all uh, the launched FLN courses are there. So let me just show you how to explore developmental goal wise resources. Please scroll up, click on to any class. So here, uh, explore, uh, uh, click on to explore of any class. Yeah, so uh, we have clicked 
on two class three and uh, three developmental goals are there so goal one goal two and goal three if we click on to any goal then we will get this uh, screen so where on the right hand side all the uh, learning outcomes uh, linked to this developmental goals are listed and on the uh, left hand side there is a player so uh, the first resource by default will come uh, the key competencies of a particular developmental goal so i clicked on to developmental goal 3 so key competencies of developmental goal 3 is there if i click on to any of the learning outcomes right now all the learning outcomes doesn't have resources as uh, uh, we are developing the resources we are linking them to the learning outcomes so there are four types of learning resources right now uh, infographics uh, worksheets assessment sheets and bite size videos so if uh, i uh, dr prachi please click on to any learning outcomes where resources are mapped so uh, she has clicked on to uh, uh, outcome identify relationships with and among family members the same uh, um, infographic which i showed you in the morning is mapped with this learning outcome so you can see here and if we uh, you explore further uh, the, uh, the different classes preschool one two three class one two three so you will get uh, worksheets assessment sheets and also bite size videos so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, ma for this wonderful session, uh, along with a lot of videos and different kinds of resources you, which we thank could you. see. Excuse me, thank you, everyone, for your patient hearing. I have posted, uh, just for the information, First of all, I request whoever has not marked the attendance, please mark it as it will be closed today only. In another five minutes, it will be closed. And also, I have posted two links on the WhatsApp group in which uh, one link is about a quiz, which is a small quiz, which you have to complete before 9 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, Dr. and Monica, can I uh, our online uh, course on OER? Dr. Monica, can we stop yes, the session? Then you go on with your instructions. I think uh, we don't have any questions. So, uh, if 